And for more reaction, former New Mexico governor and former ambassador to the U.N., Bill Richardson, is with us. Um, the president's strategy, clearly, when you look at that map, ambassador, uh, governor, it's not working. So do you agree with what the congressman is suggesting, is that if King Abdullah and General Osisi, if they're willing to fight that fight, should we give them the assistance they need to win? Well, yes. Um, I don't think boots on the ground right now, but I think the first thing the Congress should do, a very broad authorization uh, of conflict that provides all means necessary, fuel, ammunition, what they really need is air-to-ground missiles. That's what Jordan needs. But I think what has happened, too, uh, Sean, is this is a major miscalculation by ISIS, what they did. And I watched that video. I was just horrified. But I think the miscalculation is this. They've turned Jordan into a huge tiger. I mean, Jordan was part uh, of the coalition. Right. But the Governor, if, I can, and if I can interrupt you, we have some breaking news here. Jordan, the AP is now reporting that Jordan has executed two of the prisoners uh, after ISIS has killed this Jordanian pilot. Now, compare what they're doing, and there might be more killed within the hour. Uh, compare how they're reacting to the killing versus how President Obama has released all of the terrorists that we captured that were held at Gitmo, and many of them have gone back into the battlefield. Don't you think that's been a mistake? No, no. No? Uh, look, no? We, got, we released uh, Bergdahl. We, we got Bergdahl back. He's a military man. But he's we been releasing dozens and dozens back. of others. But he's released hundreds time. of them. But, but, Sean, Sean, what has happened with this horrific act of ISIS is I think you're going to see a great provocation by other countries besides Jordan. I think you're going to see the Saudis. I think Turkey. What they have done with this execution of this young pilot is they have enraged the tribes in the surrounding area, the religious imams, because the Jordanian, the Hashemite kingdom is related to the Project Muhammad. And what I think is going to happen with Jordan is a huge, huge military effort. They're going to need more F-16s. We're going to be— The president won't even admit that the Islamic State is Islamic. He won't say the words radical Islam. It, under his watch, 4,000 Americans died, and all of that territory was taken by ISIS in Iraq. The blood, the, the heart, the limbs that have lost by Americans, he allowed that to happen. He's releasing prisoners to go back into the battlefield. Two of the Taliban five have been released. Don't you think this president needs to finally step up and recognize the simple truth that radical Islam is an enemy of, of Western civilization and the United United States, doesn't he need to say those words? Look at how Jordan's reacting today. Well, I, I, I think we need more than words. We need... Say it. That's a good start. A U.S.-led effort, a coalition effort. There's over 60 countries. This is going to explode into more countries. Those countries like Jordan, like Saudi Arabia, like Turkey, I think are going to get motivated now. Muslims have been killed. This hasn't happened before in such a brutal fashion. The president has been— I think you're been... going to see a new dynamic. And, and the United States, I believe, is leading. There's over 60 countries that are part of this coalition. We need to be more like Jordan. Jordan said, you kill one of us, we are going to make you pay, and you're going to pay dearly. What do we do? We take the hardened terrorists, treat them like kings and queens in prison, and then we send them back into the battlefield to kill more people. That is madness to me. I, you don't see that as madness? I think the key, the key is give Jordan, give our allies, give us the airstrikes that we need. The airstrikes aren't Congress working. Pass an authorization. ISIS is continuing to expand. The logistics, the fuel, the ammunition that I agree is needed with you there. by an authorization, bipartisan. I agree with that, too. Help. But Air the president to needs to lead. F-16s. That's he has what sat we need. back and allowed this to happen because he's afraid to say radical Islamic terrorism. No. He's the, the, wait a minute. The official government position on Fort Hood to this day is, is workplace violence. He, is, he seems paralyzed by Islam. 
and radical Islamist. Afraid to say the it. The strong Afraid majority to... of the Islamic world is against ISIS, Sean, and it's going to get worse but they're now, not and speaking that's good up. for us, for the coalition. All right, I got to go. Well, it's, it's sad right. when the King of Jordan and the general running Egypt, El Sisi, seem more courageous than our president. That's not good, but I got to go.